Hey everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Nature's Compass mod in Minecraft 1.17.1. What is Nature's Compass? Well, it is a mod that allows you to basically get a compass in game and find biomes. Now as you can see, right clicking with the Nature's Compass in hand will open the biome selection GUI from which you can search for and find, select and choose biomes that you want to basically See, you can shift right click to reset the compass and whenever your compass is not pointing at a specific biome, it will point at the world spawn. So it also works with modded biomes as well, by the way. So if you add in, you know, biomes with mods, this will be able to find them as well. You can kind of see a preview of it here. You can see in the top left, you know, whether the biome has been found, what biome you are searching for, coordinates and distance, as well as the biome selector here, right? So this is the biome selector. And then you can also get biome, you know, information from this uh, compass as well. And then there's the crafting recipe. Pretty pretty simple stuff. So there you have it. First and foremost, though, before we can get this mod installed, we do have Miss Mar sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown text by slash Apex. It's your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love to stay back so much that we have our own server, play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown text by slash Apex. Get your server set up quickly and easily. You're not here to get an Apex server, though. You are here to get Nature's Compass. So let's go ahead and get it installed. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is the official Nature Compass download page. And once you're here, you want to come over here to the right hand side, scroll down until you see the Minecraft 1.17 section and the right hand side bar, and then click on the orange download button under that. After a few seconds, Nature's Compass will begin downloading. We will need to keep or save this file depending on our browser. So downloading in the bottom left, boom, there it is, Nature's Compass. We want to go ahead and keep the file in the bottom left. And again, you will need to save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. From there, we can actually move on to downloading this. This is going to be the Fabric API. Now, this because 1.17 just came out, we're going to be using the Fabric version of Nature's Compass. Luckily, one mod works on both Fabric and Forge, but the Fabric API is required on the Fabric version. So to do that, you want to go to the third link down below. That's going to take you here. And this is where you you can see our in-depth Fabric API tutorial. From here though, just click on the yellow Download Fabric API button. It's going to take you off to the fa Fabric API download page, where you want to come over here to the right hand side, scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.17, and then click on the orange download button next to the 1.17.1 version of Fabric API. Again, we're going to have to wait a few seconds, but after a few seconds it will say that we're going to keep this file in the bottom left, or save it in the center screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now there's one more thing we need to download, and that is the Fabric installer itself, or the Fabric launcher itself I should say, and you can find this again linked in the description down below. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the download installer universal.jar button. Instantly in the bottom left, you will have fabric installer start downloading. You can go ahead and keep that file in the bottom left. It's 100% safe and you can save it in the center of your screen if you're on Mozilla Firefox. From there, let's go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on desktop, we have nature's compass. We have the fabric API mod and then we have the fabric installer. To get started with this, we're going to be using the Fabric Installer. So go ahead and right click on the Fabric Installer and then go ahead and click on Open With. Now, if you have Java here, awesome, click OK. If you don't, here's what you need to do. As well as if your Java files don't look like this, here's what you need to do. By the way, these aren't on your desktop, they're in your Downloads folder. And to get to that, if you're on Google Chrome, you can just come in here, click this little arrow, and then Show in a Folder, and it will show them in the folder that they're in. For me, that's my desktop, but for you, that's whatever folder it is. And then you can drag them to your desktop for ease of use. Nevertheless, if you can't open up, you don't have this right here, this Java when you right click and open with, or if these logos don't look the same, you need to go to the description down below and go here. This is our in-depth guide for Java for 1.17.1. It goes over how to get Minecraft Java set up for Minecraft mods in Minecraft 1.17.1. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty simple tutorial, but it's something you need to do in order to open up Fabric. Now, you still may have some issues with your mod files not looking correct. They might not have the correct logos, for example. If that's the case, you need to run this as the jar fix. And it's going to take all the .jar files from your computer and link them back to Java, right like so. Now, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Right click on the Fabric installer, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the Fabric installer right here. Where we want to make sure 1.17.1 is selected. It is. And we can go ahead and click install. It's then going to go through and install Fabric into Minecraft 1.17.1. The only issue you may have, right? The only issue you may have is if you've never played Minecraft 1.17.1 before. If that's the case, go play it without any mods, without any, you know, anything like that. Vanilla Minecraft 1.17.1, then come back and this will work. You can go ahead and click OK. Close out the Fabric Installer and actually delete the Fabric Installer from our desktop. Now let's go ahead and install the Fabric API and most importantly, Nature's Compass in game. To do this, you want to click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. But click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen and then go ahead and type in Run. Are you in? You'll then have this Run app here. Go ahead and select that. And then in this Run app, you want to go ahead and type percent sign, app data, percent sign. So percent, app data, percent, exactly like that and hit OK. 
That's going to open up the roaming folder, and in here you should have a .minecraft folder. Open that up, and in here you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. What do I do? Well, guess what? I don't have one either. So just go ahead and right click, create a new folder, and you can just title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Go ahead and open up your mods folder, and then all you need to do to install Nature's Compass is take Nature's Compass and the Fabric API and drag and drop both of these into your mods folder, right like so. Now we can go ahead and close out of the mods folder, go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Once you've opened up the Minecraft launcher, we want to make sure we're selecting the Fabric version. Now to do this, what you want to do is click this little arrow next to the play button here, right? See that little arrow? Click on that, and then click on Fabric 1.17.1, right? Then go ahead and click play, click play again. But if you don't have Fabric Loader 1.17.1 here, here's what you do. Click on installations up here at the top, and then you want to go ahead and click on the mods button over here on the right hand side. See this little mods check mark? If I uncheck it, Fabric goes away, check it, there's Fabric, go ahead and click play. Now for some of you, very small select, but some of you, yes, still won't have fabric here and if that's the case go ahead and click on the new installation then you want to go ahead and name the server you want i'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com well i'm gonna name it that because that's our own incredible 1.17.1 grief protected survival server over there you will find an amazing reward system a great community beautiful duels and overall just uh, the best survival server out there there's so many features i can even run through them custom tools so much awesome stuff so come play this play at breakdowncraft.com is the ip if you love minecraft survival you'll love breakdowncraft let's go ahead and click on the version drop down box here and then we want to select release fabric loader and then at the end it will say 1.17.1 so right there it is for us go ahead and click on that and then we're going to go ahead and change our resolution i'm going to change that to 1920 by 1080 you don't have to change your resolution but i'm doing it so we can see once we get in game most importantly though you want to make sure that it does say fabric loader and then 1.17.1 here. Now let's go ahead and click the green create button. We have this play.breakdowncraft.com profile. Click on play. You want to basically say that you understand you're playing modded Minecraft. You know that, so you're going to go ahead and understand that, and then click the green play button. Now, Minecraft 1.17.1 is going to open up, and Nature's Compass will be installed. Once we get in game, I'll go ahead and craft a Nature's Compass and show you what it looks like and all that stuff, but just know that at this point, it's, it's installed. It's a ready to go. You are ready to use Nature's Compass to find biomes. One of the cool things about Nature's Compass is that this is the only mod you use. As long as you destroy your Nature's Compass when you're done with it, you could add this to a vanilla world, join in, play with it, find the biomes you want to find, get the coordinates, and then uninstall the mod without really any consequences. It's only adding in the compass. It's not adding in anything else. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We can go ahead and click single player, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new world for Nature's Compass here. So Nature's Compass, and then we're going to go ahead and launch this into creative because that's what I like to play on, but I'm actually going to go back into survival once I get in game. And just because of these views, I'm going to do a quick jump cut until we are in game. So here we are in game. As you can see, I do have the materials. Go ahead and craft this. So compass goes in the center, and then we do have this sort of a setup around the edge. And then right like so with these, and we get ourselves a nature's compass. So we go ahead and put this in our hand. We can right click, and there we go. We have all the different biomes. One of the things that I'm going to search for is going to be a jungle. Now, I do see a uh, jungle biome over here. That's why I'm doing this. We're going to go jungle edge and then start search. So we have a distance, and we're kind of walking in the right direction it's going to be easier to go into creative here let's go into creative and then we can fly in this direction a little faster and get over here to where this biome is so as you can see very easy to find biomes this way one of the cooler things that we can do for example is right click and change this to you know like something really cool like a mushroom fields biome a lot more rare but as you can see there is one right there at these coordinates so we actually went ahead and tp i believe we can tp uh two specific coordinates in vanilla, right? Is that possible? We're going to see. But uh, if so, we'll be able to show that... Um, no, it looks like you can't, really? Or did, could you just type the coordinates in right away? You can tell that I'm so used to like having essentials and other plugins that it's, uh, it's, it's really interesting. 79, so it looks like that's going to work. And then we're going to do... Is that 2,000? I think it's 2,078. Yeah, there we go. So that allowed us to TP to specific coordinates, and boom, we are in a mushroom biome. Look at that. So this is a great way to quickly find biomes. Obviously, we could have traveled here as well, but that was a lot quicker to get here that way. Uh, what are some other really rare biomes? I wish I, I wish I knew. Um, you know, other rare biomes, because I don't necessarily know them. But that's a way that you can find them in your world. And this is going to take you to the closest one to you. So it might be a ways away or something like that, but it's going to take you the closest one to you. Um, to be able to find that. What about even the end? No, okay. I was wondering if that was a specific bomb. I didn't think it was. Uh, ooh, that would be a good one. Let's see. Wooded mountains, wooded hills. Is there a woodland mansion? Okay, I didn't know if that was its own biome either. I'm just trying to figure out what could, could be its own biome. I don't know. Oh, the end. What happens when we do this? Null? Yeah, because th there is no... Uh, there is no end. <laughs> but if we go ahead and... I think it's right-click, right? 
We go back into survival and shift click on this. The compass is going to go away. And I think I might go to like shift right click. There we go. And I think that's going to then make it reset potentially. Doesn't seem like it's doing that. Oh, well, that is perfectly fine. It probably just potentially a bug or me doing it. Shift right click. Okay, so maybe that's it. There we go. So shift right click, reset the compass. And now, as you can see, it's actually moving in the, uh, you know, down there in the hot bar, and it's actually taking us back to the world spawn. If we don't like that, we can go ahead and change it, for example, to Badlands, and it will take us instead to Badlands. But there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I am out. Peace.